Welcome, folks, to Two Dope Boys in a Padillac. My name is Julius. I am Paul. We got a very special episode for you. We are broadcasting live. Yes. From Steiner's Pub in Las Vegas. Great happy hour. Thank you, Steiner's, for first yeah. of all, for letting us do this. We're, well, we're broadcasting live on, on Instagram. Yeah. But the, the, the YouTube video <laughs> you won't guys be live. Are gonna, uh, you're going to watch the uh, watch recorded on YouTube. But yeah, huge shout out to Steiner's, Nevada Style Pub. They're doing a happy hour right now. What is that? You get a you get a, a, a one pint, you get another one for free. They don't even ask if you want two. They no, just no. bring you two. They you order one, they bring you two. The second Love one's it. free. Wines, wells, and uh, and beers. And then also uh, $2 off of appetizers. So a huge shout out to Steiners. Which, by the way, they're partners with the uh, Aviators. So, they are, um, yeah. Big fan yeah. of the Aviators. So thank you, Steiners. So what are we here for? We got the Knights on right Golden now. Golden Knights. Yeah. Playoffs. Yes. It is the Western Conference semifinals in Edmonton tonight. That's why we're not at the game, because we live in <laughs> Vegas, not Edmonton. And series is tied 1-1. Huge game, obviously. Super huge. Last game, I was looking at tickets. I really wanted to go. I was hitting up you. I was hitting up Zach. I was hitting up everybody. A lot was going on in Vegas, by the way, on Saturday. We had uh, Bill Burr was going on. We've had, oh, uh, no. No, oh, Edmonton no. just scored. Edmonton just scored. Oh, no. Nice needed to not let them get out to a fast lead, and that's yeah, exactly what that's it That's exactly what happened. Who scored it? Oh, my God. Not Drysdale. So. Okay, so that actually brings us up to Drysdale, who's absolutely murdering in the playoffs right now. Uh, let me pull this up. He had four go. goals in game one. First off, he had four goals in, four in goals game, in game one. one. He has 13 goals in the playoffs so far. The record, NHL record, is 19. 19. For one postseason. Super close if to that. If they get to, if they do beat the Knights and they get to the Stanley Cup, he's most likely breaking the Oh, he's going to set yeah. the record. Yeah, but that's if he keeps on going. He's got 11 assists. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Evan uh, Bouchard has 11 assists. Uh, Jai Zidal has 17 points. And goals created 8.2. I mean, geez Louise. And one name you don't see on these leaderboards is the best player in the game, Connor McDavid. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So don't insane. let him get hot, too. <laughs> we It's an uphill battle. Obviously, you know, the Knights are, are on the road. But what I was going to say, though, is that game two, and I was looking to get these guys to go to the game. I mean, we got crushed. Rush I mean, State, they got yeah. absolutely worked on that one. It so was... we are, I would say, admittedly so. Like, we're pretty much casual hockey fans. Yeah. Um, I have been following for, for most of my life, but I never was really, like, super, super into it. I was a Rangers fan growing up. Obviously, the Knights came here. Love the Knights. Love going to games. Uh, I understand the game, like, they're all the rules of the game and everything. But yeah. I'm not, like, super stat geek when it comes to hockey. But I do know a couple of things. I know that Edmonton uh, in the postseason has a – is Scoring at a 56% rate on the power play, which is unreal. Oh, my God. That's unreal. Yeah. Unreal. And yeah. the Knights, this season, were the least penalized team in the league. So you'd think that's a good matchup, but yeah. hasn't been so far. They've been committing. They've been uncharacteristic. Well, penalties are going to happen. You know, it's regardless. But if you got a, a team that's better than a coin flip, you know, scoring on you, uh, that's, that's, a, that's an equation for a victory. You know what I mean? Or yeah. at least, you know, putting points on the board. Um, and, you know, the Knights for us... They're they're huge, you know. When when we're born and raised in Las Vegas, the Knights are obviously born in Las Vegas, and uh, you know we, we went to the first game together. It was me we and did. you first home game. Yep. Zach was there. Zach. I don't know if Zach made it to the end of the game. Well, that's a different remember. story. We'll talk about. We but that's how much fun it was. What happens <laughs> in the first game stays at the first game. That's how much fun we had. <laughs> but obviously, I think the Knights mean so much to this city. Like we love them. Oh my God! Well, and then also what happened, you know. Uh, God, weeks, you know, before the uh, the game was the massacre. Yeah, there's a goal, there's a goal baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tie game. Tie Let's game. Go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> huge. 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 That was huge. Tie game. Tie series, tie game. Let's go. So, yeah, you know, a lot was going on at that time. I was in Portland. I actually came down to watch a concert and – um and that got canceled because of the massacre that happened outside of Mandalay yeah, Bay. Yeah. And it was you that actually had me up and was like, hey, how about we go check out the Knights? I think we were at Top Golf. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like with your dad. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like looking at tickets and I'm like, hey, man, I'm like, you want to go to like the Knights' first home game? And you're like, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm like, it's 90 bucks. Yeah, that's nothing. We didn't have, we sat in those weeds. But I remember that was probably the most memorable sporting experience. I've, I've had my life. It was so good. Amazing. The national anthem in the beginning, I'll never forget it. It was like, it was so quiet. 
when we did the the moment of silence for the victims. And I mean, you could in an eighteen thousand seat arena, you can hear Here. somebody coughing on the other side. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it was, uh, it was unbelievable. And and you know what? In that game, they crushed it. What they score like three goals in the first? I think like, it was like four. Minutes. It was like four nothing after ten minutes. <laughs> so I feel like that game really set the tone for home games for the Knights because that like kind of atmosphere never left. It just no, kept up no. for and now six years in. Yep. You know, it's the same thing. And the team, you know, we've been we've been lucky. We're spoiled. Like the team has been very good for an very expansion spoiled. team over the first six years. I mean didn't make the playoffs last year. Last that's one year. They were still like a winning <laughs> team. They just didn't make the playoffs. But uh they're in the playoffs again. They were the one seed in the Western Conference. They're gonna have a tough rest of the series here against Edmonton. We'll see how I they feel do. Like, yeah, each matchup has been pretty tough for them. But you know what? Playoffs are happening all around us, my friend. And there's another playoff that's happening in Basketball. another sport. Basketball. NBA. <laughs> NBA. And your Knicks. Your Knicks are. The Knicks, you know, the Knicks yeah, are, they're not. Uh, I thought maybe. I had a little hope for a run there, but yeah. it's fizzling out. I think they're on the right track, though. You know, they just got to build around. Uh, what's his name? This is definitely probably the best team they've had in yeah. 15, 20 years. No, it's not bad. And uh, uh, Thibodeau, you know, is the coach. I mean, he's notorious for having, you know, monster regular seasons, not really going deep yeah. into the playoffs. He's also known for wearing his players out, you know, during the regular season, just playing yeah. them too hard, too many minutes. Um, Derek Rose. Yeah, D. Rose, bless your knees. <laughs> yeah. um, but, uh, no, is, is it Brunson? Who's the who's the point guard that you got? Brunson, Jalen yeah. Brunson. Jalen Brunson's the real deal. <laughs> Maverick should have held on to him tight. Yeah, what's they funny let him is go. I, when they and, signed him, I'm kind of like, eh. Yeah. You know, like. Not bad. Like last year, it was like average, like sixteen and six. And he I'm had like, a good yeah, playoffs last year. Yeah. Like decent player, but I mean, yeah. does it move the needle for the Knicks? I had no idea. Like it completely changed everything for them. Absolutely, he is the key to that franchise, and they definitely got to build around him. You know, because yeah, that's a that's sure. a really good guy for sure. Him, um, RJ Barrett. I mean, Barrett's like more of a. I don't want to say role player because he scores twenty points a game. That's not really a role player, but he's not yeah. a star. But it's it's you can build around those two. I feel like. If uh, if Barry can get to that that role of like a like a Scotty Pippen, you know, just long, yeah. you know, plays yeah. defense, uh, can hit a clutch shot here and there, you know, put him on a big because he is a bigger guy, you know, and he was in the same draft uh, as Zion Willis, and they were teammates actually. Um, I believe they, they played in the was a Duke. Or yeah, Kentucky? yeah, no, they were at Duke. Duke, yeah. Zion Duke was the together. first pick. RJ Zion, Barrett was the third pick. Jabarant. What's funny is Zion is still viewed as like this generational talent. Yeah. And I would still say the Knicks got the better pick because who knows if Zion's ever going to really get to play more than... Oh, nice. Check this out. We just got this dropped off over here at Steiners. They just Thank love you guys. Over here. Thank you, Steiners. Thank you, Steiners. You guys rock. We'll be here every single night from every now night. on. Every, every night. night. <laughs> <laughs> so... And with our koozies. <laughs> yes, yes, koozie. Um, so, yeah, the, the Knicks, they got some going. This year's probably not the year. Boston, I think, is going to get past Philadelphia. Yeah, I Philly, think Boston's going to the finals. Like, I just Philly is soft. Yeah, soft. yeah. Joel Embiid, stud, soft. James Harden, soft. soft. <laughs> I mean, Rivers, even even Boston, soft. man. Even Jason Tatum, soft too. But they'll, yeah. I, they have, uh, they're going to probably get to the finals. Uh, the Heat might give them a little bit of a run, just because Jimmy Butler could. Yeah, but he's, but he's like a takeover. He's though. kind of a takeover type of player that can take over a series. Yeah, but, but he's we'll been see. dealing with some injuries. And then you have Denver Phoenix. That's a great series. And we got Lakers Golden State. That's turning into a good series. Um, I hear a lot of people say they think the winner of that series is winning it all. Um, I, I could see Golden State doing it. I see a rematch. The Lakers, Golden State, Boston. Yeah, it could be. I, I mean, the Lakers. The Lakers. I just do they have enough in the tank? Does LeBron have enough in the tank? Hell you know? no. Hell no, you know LeBron. Like, LeBron is incredible. Don't get me wrong, but he just doesn't. He's not LeBron of old. It's mm -hmm. a different LeBron. And all the greats have oh, done he's this. Thirty-eight. You know, 38. yeah, exactly. Kobe. You know, Kobe wasn't the same Kobe. Uh, oh shit! Oh, Did that bounce off oh, the bounce off. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, just don't play. Unbelievable. Sorry if we stop in mid sentence and look Woo! off to our left because the game's on right here. So uh, you know, Kobe wasn't the same when he got a little older and he was dealing with injuries. Michael, I mean, Michael wasn't the same when he was playing with the stupid Wizards. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so, so it's going to happen. But I think we are definitely seeing the new LeBron right now. And it's that you're going to get spurts and out he's, of him. You know, he's it's not going to be, be a And he knows game. his role. Like, he's going to be more of a facilitator. Yeah. And that's, that's yeah, he's oh, fine with that. The game the, the, game the other day uh, it was game three. 
He didn't shoot a field goal in the first quarter. Yeah. First time ever in his whole playoff what, career. What the Lakers need, if they want to win the title, the Lakers need 30 points per game, 12 rebounds per game, Anthony Davis, every night. They need Anthony Davis to be the badass Anthony Davis. Yeah, that something that happened really funny in the playoffs. Did you see the Joker push the Suns? Yeah, okay. on your but I saw him <laughs> nudge him and... <laughs> The Suns owner flopped. Ah. It was like, he was like taken aback by the fact that he got, he put his elbow on him and then he just went like. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. That was but so then he good. put on Twitter, he's like, I love Jokic. Like, I, I don't want him suspended. Like, this was a great win. It was fun, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Please come to my team. Yeah, when you're come free to my team. Jokic, by the way, man. Like, that guy puts up, he's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. He, like, possibly best offensive big man ever. Like, all around, yeah. The way he can pass, he shoots three. But shoots the three as well as anybody what's else. What's so funny about him and and uh, and uh, if Doncic over in uh, in Dallas is like these European guys. Like they play boring basketball. Yeah. There's nothing flashy about his game, other than the fact that he puts up every single step, every yeah. single step, rebounds, assists, shoots the three pointer, shoots free throws. But they like, play a very <laughs> It's boring, but it's a very flowing, like time-based offense. Like agreed with, like dime, like passing, like dimes. You know, yes, yes, like absolutely. great passes. Like I just I watched the game for they like fifteen the minutes yesterday, and just watching a couple passes by Jokic. Yeah, you know, like like his court vision and his basketball IQ is unreal. It is beautiful. I love it. And as far as the NBA playoffs, I'm looking forward to Draymond Green getting suspended for something. So, yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> We'd, for sure. It's, Probably for Yogi pushing the Sun Sunner. <laughs> <laughs> like Draymond, two games. Hey, whoa, Joker pushed somebody. I think Draymond needs to get suspended. Yeah, let's like. get Draymond out of here. <laughs> All right, give me give me who, who who the finals are. Give me your two teams. Are gonna uh, get the I, you know what? I want, obviously, I want the Knicks. I, I don't think it's going to be the Knicks. I would love the Knicks. Uh, I, I'm going to guess Boston. And I think people are still sleeping on Denver, man. Like Boston, Denver. You know, Jamal Murray. I love Jamal Murray's game, is, too. Yeah, he's great. Um, he's obviously very overlooked because of Jokic. Um, I don't know if they play defense, uh, but, like, takeover guys, man. Phoenix, they have KD. And Booker is shooting, like, for well, the playoffs, he's shooting, like, 70%. Oh, I know. Which will... And he's a jump shooter. Listen, like, law of averages, it's, he's going to cool off. And that's where Denver can take over. Because if you got somebody shooting that well... And it's still a 2 2 series. To me, that favors Denver, you know, because yeah. he won't. Yeah, yeah. There's no way he can keep that up. There's yeah, it's no like way. Jokic went into Phoenix over two games, averaged like 37 and a half, 14 and 11, and they lost. Right. So you can look at that two ways like, oh, the Suns contained him. Right. Or the Suns are super lucky and they were shot extremely well. Yeah. Like, is that going to keep up? I don't think they're going to win in Denver. No. Um, well, let's not forget Denver's the number one seed, you know, so yeah, Denver, for, a reason. For, a reason. for a reason. And Katie has only played 17 or 18 games with his roster, and you got Chris Paul out as well. I mean, I'm sorry. I with think they play any, better without Chris Paul. Any big three that has come together, they usually need some time to figure it out and figure out their game and figure yeah. out where they are on the, on the floor and their flow. Um, so, you know, Katie, you know, coming in and being the Jesus of, of the Phoenix Sun season, I just don't see it happening. So I'm kind of with you on that. Um, I, so I think, I, I mean, I think Denver Boston is a possibility. Uh, you know, Tatum last year showed he doesn't rise to the occasion. Uh, that he could change that. He could change that. I mean, he's yeah. definitely got the talent too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, absolutely. But some guys just don't have, it, you just know, that but just then again, that nobody on Denver has been that far either. So we'll see. Nope. Ah, uh, I could see Lakers, Boston or Golden State, Boston. I love Denver. I love Jamal Murray. Um, I just don't think, I don't know, you know, as far as, uh, you know, getting past the Western Conference Finals, I don't see that happening for them. All right. Um, anything else on NBA? Um, no, I think that's about it. Um, you know, go Knicks. Well, hopefully oh, they come back oh, today. Oh, no. Oh, nice block. Oh, nice, nice. Woo! This game's very intense. Oh, my God. We got eight minutes. Eight minutes plus left in the first oh, here we one. Go. Here we go. Nothing. Nothing there. He put his glove on it. He was scared. <laughs> That's a scared move by a goalie. Well, I uh, I wouldn't be myself if I, you know, we're talking podcasts and I didn't bring up 
the Rays taking two out of three from the Yankees. Yeah. Uh, how are you? Are you okay? Is everything all right? I'm fine because I <laughs> fully uh, expected the Yankees to get swept that series. Ooh. I actually saw a tweet on Friday before the first game. The Yankees were wearing green ribbons for like mental health awareness. And the guy said in the tweet, he's like, I love that the Yankees are wearing these mental health, health awareness yeah. ribbons. He's like, because they're about to destroy my mental health over the next three days. <laughs> Um, the Yankees are just right now, they're, I don't want to say mess. They're an average team at this moment. No, it's, um, I don't want I'm glad that they were competitive. They showed a little bit of fight and a little bit of fire. Yeah. Uh, Look, I don't want to beat the Yankee story, you know, to death because we do talk about them, but it's just like what you said. They're not hundred percent healthy. No. Uh, you know, it's still early and you know, these these early rivalry matchups, whatever, they're just fun. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they're uh, just for fun. I mean, dude, the Rays right now, they're they're running away from everybody else. They're, um, they're, they're kind of doing what the Yankees did last year. Yeah. And that, I have that more work. faith that the Rays will hang on to that. Maybe not, like, at the same pace they're playing at now because they would yeah. break the record for wins. That would be insane. Which, I, you know, so that series, you know, what really stood out for me was the first game, the very first game, mm -hmm. Rosarina hits a home run. Uh, second at bat, bam, plunk him. Third well, you didn't. Bat, you forgot the one why he got plunked. Because he does the celebration he does every time he hits a home run. Does he <laughs> stop at third every time? No. <laughs> that was look. I have no no qualms with like players having fun, man. I, I like when guys pimp home runs. Not like too crazy, like what. And I don't but. really even give a shit that he did that, but, <laughs> but. you can't be shocked <laughs> that he got thrown at. Look, you know? I don't care that he got thrown at. This is baseball. Yeah. I played the game. I get it. Yo, you can't stand on third base, stare at our dugout with your arms crossed and not expect to not get hit. Or, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So, so he got hit. Fair. That was fair. Then he got hit again. The second time, that's where it's like, Well, okay, I think whoa, that pitcher whoa, whoa, wanted whoa, whoa. his shot. I don't even know who was pitching at that <laughs> moment. That shows you. I was actually like kind of busy this weekend, so I didn't really get to watch it. But yeah, um, he wanted his shot at him too. He's like, "Hey, see that elbow? You got an elbow and guard." And then the Rays coach coach gets fucking tossed. Like, what? What is this? So, anywho, the the Yankees, by the way, they should have taken that series because in game two they had a lead. They they let it go away, and then in game well, no, they won game two. Oh game no, they won three. game two. Sorry, game three game is that three. what's the? So let me get. I'll give you my thoughts on the Yankee season so far. Uh, I've, Quickly. for a couple years now, I've been on Brian Cashman because Brian Cashman has done a very poor job of constructing the roster. His ego has gotten in his way. Aaron Hicks is a major league baseball player still. And I believe that the only team that would ever keep him employed right now is the Yankees because Brian Cashman is so, I don't think the A's would even keep him. Brian Cashman is so proud of the contract he signed with them because it was like a long-term low pay, like I think seven years, 70 million. Which at the time, like Aaron Hicks was 27. He was playing very well. Yeah. And no, it's like, okay, you're like, shit. Oh, uh, like David. Oh, well, we got an injury. Oh, what happened? All right. We got it. The Knights goalie is down right now. Whoa. I hope he's okay. Did he yeah, take one to the throat? He might have. Sometimes they sneak right under that, like, that guard that comes down. Oh, my God. I hope he's okay. You know, that could kill you, by the way. Okay, it is dead silent here at the, All right. at the pub. Well, the good news is he's moving around, so. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to have to hit. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back <laughs> after this. And we're back. And we're back. We are the back. Goalie skated off. He's all right for now. Uh, sort of a weird injury. We're still kind of looking at it. But, um, you know, as, as Paul was reminding me, we're we're already on our third string. Uh, third and fourth. The top third two. Third and fourth string. Robin Leiner, Logan Thompson, both injured. Top two goalies. Knights still, without their top two goalies, still were the one seed in the West. This is still unbelievable. Still in the second round of the playoffs. So we got a fourth stringer with a pr pretty good numbers, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he had good numbers. So. He, he got some. He got some action this season, and he played well. So <laughs> all right, enough right, from so. the Yankees. You, you well, hang on. Let me finish. Who wants to hear about you? All right, man. Well, I'm just saying. Like we talked about no the Yankees, right? The Yankees. <laughs> well, some people. Do. Um. Anyway, so I was just saying, like the roster construction by the Yankees, 
by Brian Cashman in particular has not been good. Fully healthy, the lineup is pretty good. The pitching has been mostly solid for the last couple of years. Like the pitching yes. is not bad. Bullpen, not bad. Uh, his attachment to some of the trades and moves he's made in refusing to admit like Fully he was wrong. Bad moves. Yeah. Signed, you know, like Aaron Hicks is still playing. He's playing today. Yeah. Like, dude, the guy's hitting like 130. Like, get him out of there. DFM, <laughs> get him out. Well, what do you, you what do you want? Judge is hurt. Stanton's hurt. Not you Aaron Hicks. Studs, you know, out. Like, I wanted Brian Cashman to assume that there could be injuries and to like fill out the bench a little better. You know, have some you reserves. Would think with There's Yankee nothing money, there. You could have a deep roster. Uh, you can, but you can't get past <laughs> somebody's gigantic ego, yeah. which has been the problem for the Yankees. And like you, you were talking about the third game, like they should have won the series. Should've... They were up six nothing with Cole on the mound. Six nothing. And Cole, like they finally get a spark of offense. Yeah, for the first time in weeks, and yeah. they have their best their best starter, and he best picks a bad starter. time. He picks a bad time to have his worst inning. Well, but and, whatever. And at like some I point, can't even. Out. So at some point, the coach, which by the way, oh, yeah. Aaron Boone they, sucks. A lot of people give the Rays head coach a lot of shit because he he'll take his starters out. You know what I mean? Like third time through the lineup, good luck. You know what I mean? You better be throwing lights out. And it was the third time through the lineup, and base runner, base runner, run, run, run. They left him in. You have they left to have, him in. As a manager, you have, to have, you have to have a, a feel for when your starter or whoever's on the mound you gotta have a feel. just doesn't have it. For the game. Like he's exactly. done for That's the game. Your like job. He's you done. have to have a feel of your players and what they're doing. Look, the, Yankees, the Yankees bullpen ERA. Oh, uh, okay. Stop it. Almost a goal. <laughs> the Yankees bullpen ERA, I think, is fourth right now in the league. So, right? like, That's trust good. your bullpen. Trust yeah. your bullpen. You've got the guys. Like you, like I understand you want to stick with your ace, but at the same time, like they, nobody has Play it. The game. Nobody has it every night they go out. Like you know this, what's nobody funny does. too with with sports is that the coaches are playing the game just as much as the players. But here's another: the coaches are playing. They're the ones setting the roster. They're the ones setting the plays. They're the ones you know uh, subbing in and out. So the coaches are just as much a, a part of the wins. And the losses, and that one's yeah. on Boone. That's, Here's that another one against Boone. Last thing, and then we'll move on from the Yankees. Thank God. <laughs> okay. First game, of, first game, Rays are up four nothing. Yankees get a run. Harrison Bader hits a three run homer to tie the game. Seventy five percent of the offense that day. They lost five to four. Right? Yeah. Seventy five percent of the offense that game. Guess who's not playing the next game? Bader. Bader, Bader. is not in the starting lineup. In favor of either IKF or Aaron Hicks. And guess who scored a bunch of runs on uh, Sunday against the Rays? Bader. Bader. He's been their best <laughs> offensive player. Why is he not playing? Like, why would you bench him? Like, I mean, obviously it wasn't for, like, your bad his bad play. No. But it was for, like, a rest day. It's like, dude, like, you, you got to get a win. Play the guy. I'm sorry. You know, when, when we're talking about uh, division rivals... Fuck your rest day. Get your ass out there and fucking play. There's no rest day. You need a rest day. There's no rest days. You're playing against He's the not number old. one team in your division. Ain't no rest days. All right. I so. agree, man. I think um, Yankees full strength. I do think they'll they'll have a little bit of a comeback. They're not going to catch the Rays. Like they are. Play, they are a playoff. A they are a playoff team. I don't think it's even been a month. Yeah, uh, they got the pitching to get there. I don't know if Carlos Rodon is going to pitch this year. Well, which is yeah. kind of crazy. That's why I can't. News on Rodon now he's having back issues. Like uh, I can't fault Cashman for that. Like he was the best starter on the market. He signed the best starter. I'm not gonna be like you idiot. Why would you sign him? Very unfortunate. Not for but, me. That's just bad that luck. Player. It's you bad know, I really luck. hope he's okay and, and he can get uh, he can get healthy. Um, okay, enough of that. Let's uh, let's talk about some other teams, some things that that are happening, some trends. You know, we were on the Pirates. I think everybody was really yeah, surprised about I mean, the Pirates. But you know what? They're kind of showing us who they are. Uh, they're falling off. They've, they've been on a, a serious skid. And you know when that started? The when race. They played against the race. Yeah. They, lost, they got swept uh, by the Rays. And then I think they got swept by the Blue Jays right after that in Toronto. So they're just not used to playing that's at, at more the surprising. AL East. <laughs> Getting swept by the Rays, I'm not shocked by. I mean, I thought maybe they could win one. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Almost another goal. Um, but yeah, so the Pirates, they're they're free falling right now. I think they've lost seven straight, six straight. 
They're on a skid, that's for sure. Um, do I still believe in them? Hell no. I mean, I think they could still win that division, but well, maybe not. The Brewers are... Yeah, swept by the race, swept, swept by Toronto. They, they won today. They beat, uh, yeah, Colorado. They don't score a lot of runs is their problem. It's um, all, yeah. Their pitching all is good. They kind of have the same issue as the Yankees. <laughs> score, they, pitch, pitching is pretty good. <laughs> and yeah, well, the AL East is also a gauntlet. People like give the Yankees shit for being in last place. They're also above 500. Well, speaking of the AL East, Boston has won eight of their last nine. I'm yep. not afraid of them. I don't give a shit. No, I will say I, Chris Sale looked really sharp on his last uh, his last outing. He looked like Chris Sale of old. I mean, his his fastball was electric. He had a good slider. So you're uh, saying you got his ERA under seven? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying he wasn't stabbing his jersey in the clubhouse because he didn't like it. Uh, the Dodgers are who they who we thought they were. Eight of their last ten. The Mets three. And seven in their last ten. The Mets are on the And they skid. got Verlander back and Scherzer back. And from, Scherzer. And, uh, well, Verlander didn't really get hit real hard, but, no, but Scherzer lost. has not been himself this year. Okay, let me And he's also out. 30. I think he's 38 or 39. He's getting let, up there. Let, let me just throw this out there. Is Scherzer a cheater? Have we um, now found out that Scherzer's a cheater? Since he got suspended for sticky stuff, has he been a sticky stuff guy his whole life? Maybe, but I, they've been checking a lot, so I don't know. I'm just saying. They've been checking. It's the Q theory of uh, this week is Scherzer. <laughs> the Q and on. I think, uh, I think Scherzer is a Hall of Famer. I think he's been a great pitcher. I think maybe age is getting to him a little bit. A little um, bit, a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, if, I don't want to say the pressure, but the fact that he's on the team with the highest payroll and they're – their expectations of the World Series. Of course. I think most people look at the Mets and they're like, they should be good, but I don't think they're better than the Braves. Yeah. You know. Not right now. Not Definitely right not now. right now. And uh, that's what I was telling you before. There's somebody had a tweet of it was a picture of the book, the worst team money could buy, and there was somebody they said somebody already wrote a book about the 2023 Mets. <laughs> oh, I love it. And then uh, last uh, last little tidbit. The Cardinals suck. They're Man, just awful. They just, yeah, they've been bad. I think I picked them to win the division, um, which was very bad choice. <laughs> well, they're uh, the their two sluggers are, have been not as good. They're eleven and twenty-four. That's bad. Eleven and twenty-four. Oakland is eight and twenty-seven. They're only three games better than <laughs> Oakland. What the fuck? What, I know. What happened to this franchise? <laughs> uh, I mean, like, their two stars are getting old. Uh, they signed Wilson, Wilson Contreras. He hasn't really been the same player he was in Chicago. About Wilson Contreras to DH. Yeah, they are. He's supposed to be their stud catcher. Is he struggling that much at catcher defensively, or do they think that's going to help him hit? This team obviously sucks. They don't know what they're doing. So, of course, they're going to say, hey, I know what the problem is. It's Wilson Contreras. Let's move him to DH. That's yeah. going to solve everything. Get him out of here. Put him in the outfield. <laughs> the winds will start racking up. Fucking Knights are runs. up 14 to 6 in shots, by the way. <clears throat> I love that because you know what? The Knights in years past, I felt never shot the damn puck. Like they pass, 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 pass. They never shoot. They're trying to get too cute. A little too cute. Just shoot. Um, all right. Let's wrap it up. This weekend, some games that I think will be really awesome to see. We got, again, Rays. Yankees, except this time it's going to be in the Bronx. Uh, we got Cubs at Twins. Cubs has kind of cooled off a little bit. Cubs cooled off a little but bit. But that division is well within reach for, I'd say, Cubs, Brewers. Obviously, Pirates are still leading. But. Yeah. Uh, Braves at Blue Jays. That's a good one. I like um, that one. I really would like to see the Blue Jays start losing more games. I hate the Blue Jays. I can't stand the Blue Jays. Can somebody please just start beating them, please? Beat the fuck out of the Blue Jays. And then last one, uh, Padres at Dodgers. You see, uh, so the series this weekend, did you see the Clayton Kershaw crying thing on the scoreboard in San Diego? Yes. Yes, I did see that. Pretty so, funny, but tell, like, just let the Dodgers know that they're in your head. No, Even though no, you beat them in the playoffs. No, no, that's, that's talking shit, and I'm all about it. I hope they keep doing oh, it. Oh, it's fun. I, like, I mean, I'm not saying I don't like it. Uh, I'll, I'll say it right now. I think the Dodgers are going to sweep the Padres this weekend. So bet heavy on the Dodgers. 
especially Clayton Kershaw's pitching. You got anything else, buddy? I think that's it. Let's go, Knights. We're almost done with the first period. We got two, just under uh, three minutes left. One-one game. Knights are trying to push up the ice right now. We'll just do play-by-play -play commentary. <laughs> yeah, because they can see it too. <laughs> that was a trip. Super shout out to Steiners. Thank you so yes, much. Thank we you, really Steiners. Hope to come out here and do it again. Your hospitality is incredible. Your service are incredible. And I'm never and on there's camera. And Zach. And Zach's never on camera. This is the guy How behind the camera. <laughs> yes. We Thank like you him. very much. He owns guys. all the camera equipment, too. Boys. If you ever need pictures taken, the photo guys. <laughs> Absolutely. All righty. Take care. All right.